The home we're in today is our new Elway Ranch model. It's a brand new model we just opened. It, it's 2,100 square feet on the main level. It has three bedrooms, a split bedroom plan with the master on one side, the guest bedrooms on the opposite side. We built this one with 10 foot ceilings throughout and eight foot tall interior doors. Uh, it also has an open kitchen, dining and great room concept, a laundry mudroom and a three car garage is standard on our Elway model with a full basement. Uh, as you walk in the front entry of the Elway model, you're into the great room area. Again, we did a 10-foot ceiling. We also have a two-piece crown molding that surrounds the perimeter of the ceiling. So you got wood flooring all throughout the main level here, right? Yes, we did a, uh, we did a Shaw engineered hardwood. Uh, it's a seven-inch wide plank. It's an oak material and it's extremely resilient, uh, a lifetime floor. It actually has a 50-year guarantee. What's the difference between like an engineered versus maybe like what people might find in their homes built 10, 20 years ago? Today with flooring, everything's becoming wider format. Everybody wants bigger, bigger tiles. They want wider planks. And as the flooring gets wider, it's important to have an engineered core because the wood fibers go opposite directions in that core. And it's made up of several layers so that uh, the wood doesn't warp, twist, shrink, or expand. So you end up with a very stable floor that'll give you a great look and, and a factory finish that's extremely hard. So it never really has to be refinished, although you can refinish it up to four times if you ever needed to. In our kitchens, uh, with KLM standard, we give you stone countertops in the kitchen, which will either be granite or quartz. In this case, they're, they're all uh, Sensa granite, which is a great product by Cosentino. And that has a 15 year no seal factory warranty uh, from the manufacturer. So it's a great product, low to no maintenance. Uh, just clean it with soap and water. We also did 42 inch upper cabinets in this house, which is standard for us. We added the soft close feature again, where all the doors and drawers are full extension, soft close glides. And then we did a marble backsplash in this particular house that runs from the countertop all the way to the ceiling. What uh, kind of insets are in here? What is that? For the marble, these are actual marble pieces, uh, genuine Italian marble. And then we have stainless steel and glass inserts in this particular backsplash. And then we did LED lights under cabinet and over cabinet LED lights are, are included in this particular model. We have a great walk-in pantry. Uh, that is standard on this house as well. Lots of storage. It's just a, a great storage and it's right in the kitchen, of course. So a lot of people love the walk-in pantries. Uh, right adjacent to the kitchen, uh, we have uh, our morning room, dining room area, and then off of that, there's a separate hallway that leads to two guest bedrooms and a private bath with a linen closet. And also directly off the kitchen on the other side is the three-car garage. In this case, the three-car garage is standard. Uh, all of our garages are drywall taped and painted, so they're totally finished as a standard. We do that on every house we build. And right, right from the garage entry into the house, you're close to the kitchen with your groceries. We did a drop zone in this case where we added additional cabinets and countertop uh, to hold your keys, charge your cell phones. In the laundry room, we did, uh, we did front-loading washer and dryers on pedestals. We also added upper cabinets, and we did a, a great built-in laundry sink and cabinets. Right off our morning room, breakfast uh, dining room, that we have a beautiful Trex deck uh, that we did out here. Because it's an English basement or daylight basement, the uh, the rear of the house is up in the air, so you can get those beautiful daylight windows in the lower level basement. Uh, Trex is a maintenance-free material that we use on all of our decks. Uh, basically, it's a lifetime product that you'll never have to maintain. We use hidden fasteners. You'll notice every board is a 100% one-piece long board, and there's no screw holes in them or no fasteners in the surface of the deck, so all the fasteners are hidden below. So you get a nice, clean look. Our railings on this particular deck, we use an extruded aluminum with a powder coated finish. Again, it's a lifetime finish. Aluminum will never rust. It won't chip, crack, or peel. So you've got a lifetime railing as well as a deck surface. 
So it truly is a maintenance-free product, just like the whole exterior of the home. Uh, then in the master suite, again, we did 10-foot ceilings. We also did a step ceiling, so your ceiling's almost 11 foot tall in the master. We did two rows of crown molding here. You have a nice triple wide window, so you get a lot of natural light again in the master bedroom. We did a private bath, of course, on the master suite. In this particular application, we did a separate tub. We have a soaking tub, which is Kohler. It's a six foot long. And then we also have a beautiful six foot long shower that we put in this particular model. We used a polished porcelain tile again. So again, it looks just like a Marfil marble, but it's actual porcelain again, so you don't have any of the maintenance of stone. It's a lot stronger. We did a granite countertop in this particular master suite vanity with uh, his and hers bowls, and then it has a center linen tower also built on the cabinetry. I love the look of this vanity top. Yeah, this is a, uh, it almost looks like petrified wood, but it's, yeah. uh, it's a natural stone granite. Again, it has our 15 year no seal warranty, and we did an OG edge on this particular product. And the drawer bank, Sean, you'll notice, comes out uh, from the cabinetry. So we did a deeper drawer bank with full extension, soft closed doors and drawers on this particular vanity. So you got lots of storage in the master suite, both in the stack of drawers and your whole vanity tower. There's tons of storage for medicines and blow dryers and everything you need in the master suite. Do you always raise the tower off the, the, the countertop? Most builders t tend to take that center tower and set it right on the, the right. Granite countertop. We always raise it off the countertop and we continue the backsplash all the way around the tower so you'll never get that cabinet wet. It's just a much better application. That's a smart design. for the basement. We did a uh, solid wood handrail with a wrought iron spindle, which is a very popular look. All of our balusters are iron instead of wood. That's a really up-to-date, much in demand look. All of our homes at KLN come with a full basement. That's standard. In this particular Elway model, we, ha we have a lot that's a daylight lot or English basement. So you have four foot tall windows we do in our English basements generally. And what that does for you is we get rid of all the window wells. There are no window wells on this house because every window is an escape window. So we don't have any window wells for, for small animals and other things to get trapped in and leaves and things of that nature. So a lot of people love these daylight basements. We poured a nine foot tall ceiling in this particular ranch. You've got a great space uh, here to finish and you can have a high ceiling in the lower level of the house. Uh, we'll design and finish any of these basements for you, any portion of the basement that you choose or need to have finished at the time of build. Or we'll come back five years later after you've been living in the house and you decide you need to grow into the lower level. You'll do that too. At that point, we'll design it to scale and. Uh, and finish the basement for you. We also roughed in plumbing for a future bath down here. And I noticed all the mechanicals you have over tucked over here in the corner. That's kind of nice to have. Yeah, you know, a lot of builders will, will will put these mechanicals all over the place. They'll put the furnace in the center of the, spa the basement because that's the most economical way to do it. We always spend a little more money, a little more effort, and we move that furnace all the way to one end of the basement or the other. Now that causes us to some extra expense. We have to oversize our ductwork and things like that so we maintain the proper pressures for heating and cooling correctly. But it makes this basement so much friendlier to finish in the future when you have this big blank canvas. It's so much easier to plan. Mm -hmm. 